Hi guys and girls, so we are back. I'm making another video on No Man's Sky's release date and everything we know so far. So of course we know the release date is August the 14th, which is literally four days away or less when you're watching this video. And um, somebody, uh, a good person at Atlas Codex had uh, written a really good detailed uh, information what we know so far. So I thought I'd go through the list and make it a little easier. It'll be... Uh, in the same order as last time, we'll go with, with through VR online and then 2.0, uh, basically. So VR supports all major headsets as well as various uh, control methods, teleportation movement options as well as direct movement, grab the flight stick in one hand and a throttle in the other, reach out to lift the cockpit up. That's kind of cool. Everything that can be done in the base game uh, be done in VR, meaning you can also join non-VR players with no restrictions other than them not being able to fist bump you. Aww. VR controls are fundamentally different from activating your analyst visor by tapping the side of your headset to navigating menus by physically uh prodding at the holographic display that wink into existence out of the back of your space gloves <laughs> that's kind of cool ps4 players won't be forced to use move controllers and will have the option to use the dualshock 4 controllers instead uh, wanting to be able to punch the carbon out of alien plant instead of using my mining laser and developer tells me to try it and it works so there you go uh, you'll be able to use your existing save in vr so that's basically the vr set of things uh, so let's go to the online component so online 16 to 32 players depending on your platform filled with online friends and strangers the nexus a new social space without any load times can be called in any system the player is currently stationed in think of it equal to the uh, destiny tower includes new shops missions and story elements nada and polo own the nexus the nexus exists out of space and time uh, can take on multiplayer missions broadcast to anyone in the nexus and farm up uh, in fire teams simultaneously existing into the same system together. Once you dock at the Nexus, you'll connect up to 31 players, because you're one of them, so 32 in total, all linked by a mix of Hello Games, server infrastructure, and peer-to-peer -peer, uh, server system. You'll also uh, see screenshots of bases they've built on a planets floating near them. These are images are firm reminders that anyone uh, in a given nexus can warp to someone's base anytime in the galaxy by interacting with that stranger should uh, their permissions allow it of course. Featured bases another feature coming uh, to the nexus is featured bases which will see hello games uh, recognizing user mode content across the game's galaxy based on factors like popularity among nexus users should a user creation become popular enough every single online player will get a limited time nudge to warp directly that directly to that base and see it firsthand uh, if they choose to Coming mission, uh, community missions, accepting these missions will warp players directly to a particular system or planet where they will automatically join a shared, um, or sorry, shard of an online player. Completing these rewards, uh, players will get an in-game currency, which can be spent on new reward shop. Community missions will not be in the game at release. So, sounds like community missions will be coming back again, hopefully. Um, but hopefully they stay on it, because it kind of didn't on the last one. Um, certain planets are being transformed into social spaces where players can mass around with one another that is really cool and then last but least the one that you know like kind of the meat and potatoes a lot of people are looking forward to is the third pillar which was 2.0 the next change list was roughly 250 changes beyond is twice as long Heavy focus on optimization, community-focused approach to fixes and additions, new galaxy map, new alien races, new languages, 
Chairs can be sat on. Walking NPCs both in stations and on planets. Uh, expanded base building. Industrial uh, elements. Logic pieces. Think of Minecraft redstone. Electricity grids. Teleporter, teleporters. Uh, physics distortion systems. Bigger and more complex bases. Taming, riding, and milking creatures. Hello Games has gone to the trouble of making nearly every creature size compatible with these features. From huge dinosaurs to rodents. Damn. Create big farms full of crops to harvest. The world of No Man's Skies generates aren't just uh, magnificent. magnificent. I can't say the word. Uh, to behold anymore, they are going to feel properly populated. That is going to be interesting. Menu and discovery log UI being altered. Planets are more dense and more varied. Uh, article says planets won't be the same. Huge boring biome. So there you have it. That is No Man's Skies for you guys. And that's the update video. I thought you guys be interested in that. And uh, I wanted to kind of re-update the first video I did yesterday just because I thought, you know, there's more information. There's good, you know, meat and potatoes here. And I just want to let you know it uh, as fast as I can. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys all on Beyond Launch. I'll be there. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.